Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. Today we're going to be talking about what in the world has happened to this game. It's been almost exactly four months to the date since this game has been released. Uh, there was a lot of hype behind it when it came out. Uh, I'm sure you've heard this story before. Big new game, tons of hype. It's a sequel to a game that, that did really well. Uh, and then it's kind of quiet after it's released. We're going to talk today about exactly why Kerbal Space Program 2 has failed to meet expectations for most people, where it's at right now, and where I think it needs to go uh, in order to be as successful as it wants to be. Uh, so first of all, the game has received three patches since it was released. Uh, we got two, basically two bug fixes and then a third one that was bug fixes and new parts. Uh, so you can see kind of we have the standard like couple command modules here. Um, you know we have our autonomous command modules, some aircraft cockpits, some rover parts, um, all these different fuel tank varieties. Uh, I think that they actually added yeah, I think this is new. Yeah, this is new in this third patch. Uh, also, this this looks new. Eh, sure. Um, we'll just put all the new things here. Um, we got our fuel line. Uh, I did read that there were new engines. Yeah, this this is new for sure. Oh, that's that is quite large. This also looks new. And this one, yeah. New engines, guys, new engines. Um, let's see, so the jet engines, they, they were five when the game was released, they haven't added any. Um, all this structural stuff. Yeah, we have our, our standard decouplers. They did inc they added some new docking ports. Um, yeah, they're docking ports. They're pretty self-explanatory. Uh, a couple different new sizes here. We have our payload sections. We have our crew cabins. Um, they did. They said they revamped the wings a bit, um, but I'm going to be getting into that in another video. They do look different. Um, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that works. Uh, the oh, this is new air brakes. Deployable drag control surface. Nice. That's pretty cool. Um, Let's see what else we got here. This is all landing legs. These have been in since the beginning. Landing gear, same thing. Uh, thermal pads, electrical. Okay, okay. So point being, it's been four months, right? Four months since this game was released. And again, I want to be clear. I am definitely not hating on this game. Uh, not at all. I understand that it's very difficult to develop a game like this. Um, but I do think that it's important to hold publishers accountable for, um, you know, what they say they're going to do versus what they actually do. Um, importantly, there were a lot of promises made about this game, and there is an extensive roadmap out there. Um, but still, I think, like, we can't keep having games released that are like people pay for them based on one set of expectations and then they get a second like a totally different animal than what they expected um so yeah just those are just some of my thoughts on the situation and uh you know they have improved stability uh, you'll notice like the frame rate right now is really good so they there are, have been dramatic improvements in frame rates um oh boy i'm trying to build us a rocket here and we're going to demonstrate just how much has changed um or how little up to you guys <laughs> um so let's put this guy here uh but yeah so Basically, I just I wanted to make this video um, kind of to recognize that this game probably is not where it should be. 
Uh, I wouldn't say we're out of time. Uh, it is a little... It's a little bit late to turn it around. I think they will. But in a perfect world, we never have to worry about this. Uh, you know, the game is released, expectations are met, and everybody's happy. But that's too much to ask for. Um, so instead, I'm making a video like this so you guys can see whether it is worth your time to buy it at this point and to play it. Because if you're like me, you can't be dropping $50 on games all the time. <laughs> I do not have that kind of money. Um, okay, so this is just a basic, it's kind of dumb rocket. I use this I use this little lander pod here. It's it's the large one. Uh, it's not really for this purpose, but we're gonna launch it and see. I think I staged it properly. Yeah. Um, oh. Okay. This will be a good test of the wonk factor. Okay, well actually that's kind of impressive. That would have absolutely destroyed the game uh, way back when it was released. Um, people people complained of wobble rockets uh, at the beginning of, of when this was released way back in like February, early March. If you watch a lot of my earlier videos, almost every one of my creations ends with like a snake motion and then all the different stages separate and the rocket is just gone um, let's do this okay we're gonna we're gonna pretend that this is like a sounding rocket so we're gonna try to do a nice parabolic into space back down so far so good uh, I will note that it actually does seem like my frame rate is way higher than it normally has been in the past. Um, yeah, oh boy. Okay. What's our apoapsis? Oh, 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 something happened. Oh boy. Um, oh, of course I wasn't even looking at it. Can I still? Hey, nice. Okay, something broke. Um, exactly what? I do not know. Um, let's over to launch here. So, seems like frame rate's gotten a lot better. Uh, clearly there's still some bugginess, although the reason that broke was probably my fault. Um, you know what, let's, yeah, let's just launch again. Um, so basically, if you're still on the fence about getting this game, my advice to you, they have been transparent about the development roadmap. They have shown us that there is there are plans to add more things to the game. I think science is next up in the queue, um, like adding a science route. Because right now it's just like you launch rockets for funsies. You know, you go to space for funsies just because like this is like a rich people space program not an actual like NASA science space program or anything um, but give it another couple months wait to see if they're consistent with the roadmap you know see see if they're actually gonna stick to their promises um, and at that point maybe once it's on sale then you should consider picking it up. Of course, like if we take it at face value, they promised us like multiplayer, different galaxy or not galaxies, different systems, star systems, um, all these like aircraft parts and science potential. Um, I'm gonna try to separate these boosters. It's probably gonna blow us up. Go. Okay, I have lost control. Uh, don't even know what happened there. Um, okay. But anyway, uh, I don't... I think that that demonstration speaks for the state of the game, even though I built 
let's be clear I built a garbage rocket just for demonstration purposes um, but just to continue to review the state of this game uh, it's been four months they've added only a few new parts uh, while they have done a tremendous job fixing bugs improving frame rates and generally making it a better user experience that's all kind of been work to bring us up to where we should have been when they released it. Um, again, I know developing games is really hard work. I don't want this to be like taken as super critical of the developers or anything. I'm telling you, someone who has limited money, if you were waiting to buy this game, if you think like, oh, is it worth it? Is it not? Maybe not yet. I'm going to keep making content on it because I enjoy playing it very much and I already did pay for it. Uh, so when the time comes that you see a feature you like has been added to this game then and only then should you pick it up um, but yeah that's the state of KSP2 that's what happened uh, I think the story of a game that promises one thing and ends up being another thing is all too common these days but it's all good fun I do enjoy it I will continue making videos on it so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was informative. Um, if you do have questions or specific questions about like parts or how something works, please leave a comment. I would love to help you out. Love to make a video on it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.